This one has been distilled five times in a row to achieve the purest distillate possible. Huh. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's my mind playing tricks with me, but it smells like cheese and pear. The story for all of those is almost the same. They are made for parties. Vitaya Panya Tapanova, this is Ukrainian spirit and we continue our journey into the world of craft Ukrainian alcohol. Today we are in the beautiful Carpathian mountains in Transcarpathia or Zakarpathia region of Ukraine. I'm sitting beside this beautiful river here in the mountains and I'm reviewing traditional Transcarpathian alcohol which is called Palenka. This particular one is a pear one, so pear Palenka. So let's find out more, shall we? Earlier in this series of uh, reviews, we have reviewed other palenka. We had plum, we had blackberry, and we had apple queens. All traditional Ukrainian Carpathian fruits that we make into this today. This one, pear, is among most popular or more widespread because we also have lots of pears which uh, go bad very fast either some insects that eat them or they fall and being damaged or birds eat them a bit so it's uh, a bit unpleasant or it's hard to sell it's hard to consume as a regular fruit so people learn to overcome those problems with distillation process and so this one palinka is typical Transcarpathian drink it's made by Persha Zakarpatska Palincharnia or the first distillery in Transcarpathia that make palinka this is official name and I'm looking forward to tasting this because I really like pear distillate uh, I guess pear and apple are among most widely used in the world in general for distillation and I have tried some pear distillates before but not this particular one it is 42 percent or 45 actually excuse me and it as well as the other ones uh, this one has been distilled five times in a row to achieve the purest distillate possible. Typically, this smells like any other fruit distillate. Very, if you ever try Calvados, pretty much same smell. There is interesting side note in this one. So, um, it's... Uh, a bit sour but also smells a bit like cheese of all things huh <laughs> I'm not sure if it's my mind playing tricks on me but it smells like cheese and pear so think of um, uh, soft French cheese which usually comes with pear when you order it in a restaurant this has this interesting combination of milk sourness and pear sweetness and pear tartness. Goat cheese in particular for some reason. This is very interesting. Let me taste it. The alcohol profile, the flavor, is different from the other ones. It is not sweet, but it's very tart, almost a little bit bitter. Very tart, a little bit nutty. On the second tasting, when my palate has adjusted to the alcohol, I actually now sense a little bit of sweetness but tartness is prevalent in this particular one the story for all of those is almost the same they 
are made for parties, for Ukrainian style parties, when people sit, talk, eat a lot, and usually drink a lot. It's very delicate, and it leaves this bitter tart tail, sort of, on my palate. So, this has been a pear distillate, pear polinka from Transkarpathia, and it has been Ukrainian spirit, and as usual, I see you again. Budmo!